Hi guys. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Yuck. So yeah, I'm just totally not feeling it today at all. Feeling nothing. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go on to um, visualization. Did we even go over placing the awareness yesterday? I'm pretty sure we did. I'm not 100% sure, but I really hope that we did. So let me check really quick. It's really hard for me to keep track of all these videos anymore. It really is. I don't even know how to get to my own video. My own whatever. Oh, my channel. Yeah, that would help, wouldn't it? Okay, videos. Let's see. Yes. Okay. Alright, so we're going to go into visualization. Very good and interesting information in this, so. Alright, now, this is probably one of the two greatest tools in the witch's armory, and it really honestly is. The other being the power of the will, or in many cases that he says I know of in the craft, sheer bloody minded mindedness? Sheer bloody mindedness. Mindedness. Is that a word? Okay, anyways. But the results are the same. So, um, if you can visualize something accurately and strongly enough, you are more than halfway to achieving uh, la, 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 or being there. So, <laughs> there's a difference between remembering um, and actually visualizing and placing your awareness. So, just make sure you know that. Alright, so all the uh, modern techniques of creative thinking and seeing to achieve or positive visualizations are all based on this and it is nothing more than good old-fashioned witch magic. So all the manifestation coaches, you guys are teaching witchcraft, witch magic. Thank you. Uh, whether you want to believe it or not, everybody that does practice manifestation is practicing magic, witchcraft. I love it. So now there are a lot of people who say that they cannot visualize, cannot see pictures in their mind. Piffle. Everyone can. You can. It's, it's, don't you dare visualize the back of your hand. Don't you dare visualize a the hairbrush. There you go. You just did, didn't you? Now, if you couldn't, or, yeah, if you couldn't visualize making a cup of, a cup of tea, you would become very thirsty. If you couldn't see yourself clothed, uh, it might be rather embarrassing for you or the people around you. Now, to be able to do something, we, all of us, have to be able to visualize it first. Of course we do. We have to visualize getting in the shower, getting dressed, doing our hair, so on and so forth. And it's, yeah, it takes a lot of practice. So, when people say that they can't do this, they just mean that they do it so often without thought. It, it's not really a conscious thing, and they don't realize it. So, it's, it's pretty interesting. We all do it. So, if you say you can't visualize, yeah, you can. I promise. The point is in bringing it onto a conscious level, directing and focusing it into the areas or places that we wish to visit or things we wish to achieve. It takes practice a lot, but, and this takes practice, <laughs> by now you should be fairly confident at, um, what did I write there? Focusing and placing your awareness around your body, having cultivated cle a clear and sharp mind with the aid of correct breathing. Have you guys done the correct breathing yet? I've been doing it for so long. Um, I'm recently starting to actually do the circle cross again and doing the, you know, the complete breathing and trying to just really get more in tune with myself. So now you are going to learn now how to place your awareness outside of yourself in locations both near and far, but still in this world. So it is better if you begin with a place or an object that you know well, something that you have an emotional attachment to. Emotions are the best for this. Whether you love it or hate it, it's up to you, as long as there is a connection there. So choose this object and place it in a location that you cannot see from, uh, where you will be practicing, or pick a large place where you will not be there, or where you are, you'll not be, you won't be there. But this is still fairly close. Make sure that you will not be disturbed for a while and get yourself comfortable. Performing the basic circle cross and an initial few rounds of complete breaths consciously. Because, of course, you, by now, uh, will have breathing this way all the time, subconsciously. So, relax and see in your mind's eye the place or object that you have chosen. Forget the fact that you cannot see. Just do it. <laughs> Just do it. Pick up the object or um, slowly walk around the location and examine it in as much detail as you can imagine. Now remember the feelings and sensations that 
that you experienced when you were placing your awareness at different areas around your body and draw on this now. So it's pretty interesting. You just gotta, you gotta draw on all of it. Everything that you experienced thus far. So it is not enough just to picture the object or place. You must actually feel as if you are really there and experience it the same way. Try to remember as much detail as you can and file this for a way for future reference. Don't overexert yourself to begin with. Ten minutes will suffice to start. So, and you can lengthen this as you become more sufficient or efficient. Now, once you have finished this um, exercise, do the circle cross again and um, have a few deep breaths. And now go to your place or your uh, or object that you visualized and examine it closely with your physical eyes. Be brutally honest with yourself here, as there is no room for self-deception if you are to be successful in this. So you always got to be you always got to be honest with yourself, and that's the hardest thing. So, did you see everything correctly? Did you see the marks on the, or, you know, or dents or colors on the object accurately? Um, is everything in the location in the same place that you saw it in the visualization? You need to check all these details as, if you did not see correctly, then you were doing, then what you were doing was remembering the object or place and not focusing your awareness there. And that's what most people do, is they just remember the place and they don't actually put their focus and awareness literally into that place or object. So this is why you need to draw on the feelings you experienced when you were, atten when you were placing your attention around your body. You can then tell if you are being successful or not. The warmth or the tingling or the buzzing. So this practice can be quite difficult for a lot of people and it's only through hard work and a diligent application that you will become good at it, any good at it. It must be practiced, however. It has to be. So, as it is one of the vital building blocks of future craft working, and one that will be necessary for more developed work. So, yeah, I, I, I honestly think that, that you have to just completely give over and just give in and do this exercise. So take your time and don't rush, enjoy the experiences experiences, and look forward to your sessions. Before you know it, you will be placing your awareness in all sorts of strange places and being very accurate with it too. So we have, that's for remote viewing, we have scrying, we can peer into different realms, we can do all kinds of things, and it's pretty amazing. So once you have mastered this technique, or the technique for the physical world, you can attempt a non-physical location, and he says here, I will finish this section with a shorter visualization journey um, of what some call the other world Garth, or the other world, your special place that nobody else can go into but you. That's kind of what Ouija Pop started out with, and then I let people in, everybody knew the key, which was my altar, that was how you got to Ouija Pop, through visualization and projection and placing your awareness there. So that's how we all went. Yes, does anybody visit Ouija Pop anymore? I do. Okay, where'd I go? Okay, so this is a place between the worlds, which is yours alone, that you create with the power of your visualization and your will. None may enter physically or otherwise without your permission. And where you may simply recharge your batteries or have encounters with other beings that you may not or you, you may like to call or invite to it. Do not use it, however, as a kind of spiritual uh, bolt hole when your times are hard. As it's part of the craft ethos to face problems and sort them out, not run away and hide from them. So that's taking responsibility for our own actions, not placing blame on anything else outside of ourselves. So it's pretty interesting, right? Yeah, I thought so. So yeah, what you guys do with this exercise, you guys can do it. I don't care. Why well, care? I mean, <laughs> but then I will give you guys the um, other world Garth meditation to actually get into your own. If you guys have already created one, that's cool. I mean, it's really cool if you guys already created your own. So yes, all about the visualization techniques. God, last night I swear, I swear, I, lo I laid in bed and I swear I felt myself come out of my body. But then I saw my body and then I was right back in it. It was weird. It was really weird. It's been different with Darla here. It's been really different with her here. I just... It, 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 the pictures I tried to take of her last night, they did not take. None of them. They were all weird. Really weird. So it was pretty, it was pretty interesting. So yeah, 
I love her. I do. I love that doll. She's amazing. So, all right, let's do coffee talk. But yes. There we go. I knew my computer needed an update. It was updating yesterday when I was glitching in and out. Alright. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Cool. I love it when things work fast. <laughs> it's a lot better. So do you guys have any plans for the weekend? Anything fun? Anything exciting, maybe? Come on. Please. Come on. There we go. Okay. Where's my comments? There they are. I'm still trying to figure out. I, when I love a comment, it goes away. I don't get it. I totally don't get it. So all the comments that were there, they're probably gone now. So I don't know where they're going. Oh. They're there. Hmm. Um, Soul of Thorns. The doll is really something, though, isn't she? I love her. Soul of Thorns. I'm wondering if she likes ICP. No. No, that's an old poster. That was from when I was, like, 16. 15, 16. I, I don't like ICP. I think they're just... I think it's garbage. It is. You grow up, you get older, uh, some people still love them, and some people uh, begin to hate them, and I'm like, and just no. <sighs> Lady Witch. Hi, my love. Cindy Miller. Santa Marte on a Harley. That would still be amazing to see. Brent Edwards. Hi. Lord Welb, the partial son. It was good to have you in chat yesterday. It was good to see a lot of you in chat. I love it. You're amazing. Oh, you have a question regarding Shungite. Hold on a minute. Okay. Oh, wow. I like this question. Okay, cool video. I love planetary magic. I do too sometimes. It just depends. I have a question regarding Shungite. Okay. I got a little Shungite disc with a hole in the center, and I wear it as a necklace. Good. Good. I love those. Every or Ever since I put it on my mm, on, my mood has been so much better. I haven't gotten nearly as angry at things that would have sent me flying... Well, that and I'm just feeling so peaceful in my sleep schedule and everything is getting normalized. I wish mine was. Um, I've been starting to dream, which I never do unless it's a saint telling me that they're coming through with a promise. That I've started to hear things here and there, like sounds or voices. That and my connection with La, Santa, La Santissima Muerte is getting stronger. She's being really sweet and loving. Although the first day I wore my shunga, I did get a bit sick. Yeah, I, d I felt kind of like I was just nauseous. Um, it was just weird. It was a really weird, and it, don't drink too much of the Shungite water, I mean, because it will flush your system of any kind of medication that you're on. And then, I mean, I did, and I, I flushed all the clonopin onto my system, and I had a panic attack for, like, hours. It was terrible. So be careful. Um, okay, where did I go? Although the first day I wore my Shungite, I got a bit sick, feeling vomity, yeah, and tired, but it worked itself out. Is this normal? Well, yes, it's very normal with Shungai because it's it's it really it's re-energizing your entire body. It's kind of uh, realigning every all the you know everything that's like not complete in your body is kind of completing it. It's harmonizing the energies within your body. So yeah, it's completely normal. Just be careful how much you uh, water you drink because it will flush out all of your medicine in your body. And if you take anything for panic disorder, uh, yeah, you will be panicky. Okay, sorry for the long, dragged-out comment. I love your comments. Don't you guys ever think that these long comments are bad. I love them. P.S. I've never had this with any other stones besides a clear quartz here and there. And one more thing besides hearing things, I've been able to sense and control more energy in my craft. That's what it's for. It connects you to the worlds. Between the worlds, it connects you to magic. It connects you to the universe. Shungite is, I don't know how old, it's like, what, two billion years old? Then we have Numite, which is the Xanax of stones which I rarely work with because I don't want to feel like that. I hate Xanax. I hate that feeling. It's kind of like you feel wobbly and drunk. I can't stand that feeling. But yeah, you're completely, completely 1,000% correct. It happens. It's normal. It's natural. So just let it happen. 
but it will go away. It'll totally go away. Now again, be careful with the water, with drinking, how, how much water you drink. Shungai water. Alright, Carole Lacusta, hi, J Phoenix, hi my bro, how are you? Beetle Pep, Diane Hannon, I love you. <laughs> I do, Alexandra Hill, Eva Lugasi, uh, Susie Zivitter, um, um, Ozzy Yobos World, Yabos, I like Yabos better. Melody, My Queen of Negativity, J Anthony W, Alchemy of Life, Kate the Witch, Lisa Oaks, Mr. Dizzy Von Clutch. <laughs> All right, guys. So yeah, I mean, Darla has moved. She's moved a bit. Her arms are now. One is kind of further up, like this. This one. So she's just kind of just chilling, and she's protecting. And you know, I talk to her and tell her good night and everything. It's pretty interesting. It's very interesting, actually. And I'm really interested in it being an original, handmade in West Michigan. I think that's incredible. So, hopefully, I don't know. Are you an original, Darla? You can move around and do anything you want, except to be evil. You can't be evil. Except in the Eartha Kit kind of way. You can be that. Alright, guys, sorry. Alright, so yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, I gotta clean, so everybody have a great day. Try to be safe, stay healthy, all that good stuff. I don't want you guys going anywhere on me, or I will freak out. <laughs> so I love you guys very much with all my heart and thank you for all the comments they are seriously incredible but partial sun yes just be careful with drinking it so all my love always all the way from Venus all the way back down and I love you guys with all my heart so please be safe and I don't really ask this but you could you guys send some good energy this way a little bit of good energy just maybe a thought or two I would really much appreciate it so, okay guys, I'm going to shut up. I love you, and I will see you guys tomorrow.